Marson's Domain. Hey everyone, Marson here, and today I want to talk about Woody Woods in Mario Party Superstars because in my previous video, if I really didn't know this, I'd have no issue just admitting I didn't know it, but I did know Woody Woods has been confirmed because of one of the images that we have from Nintendo's official website. So I knew it was in the game, but for whatever reason, when I went to record that video, I think just because I was using the trailer footage in the beginning, or I was just thinking about the trailer in general, I just didn't mention it. So I figured I'd make this video anyway, because since we know about Woody Woods, I figured I'd talk about it and give my opinion on it. And so that way, for those who watched my previous video, will not only know that I'm aware of it, but for those who aren't aware that this board is coming back, they can see this video and now they'll know. Because I actually got a comment about someone saying, I don't understand, how do we know that that board's coming back? So to refresh my memory on this board, I actually just replayed it. So my mind is fresh and I have my opinions on it. So in terms of aesthetics and how the board looks, I'm actually pretty excited to see an HD upgrade on this. The board has a lot of bright colors. I think it's gonna be very vibrant and I think it'll lend itself really well to an HD upgrade. And I really hope that they keep the characters and enemies that are scattered throughout the board and just give them an HD upgrade because we have the owl from Mario 64. We have the rabbit from Mario 64 and some of them are even pink. The only thing that I could see them changing is that there's a mouse on the board, and I figure they would just use the ones in Mario 3D World. Okay, so as I was editing this, I saw in this picture that Nintendo released that there are still rabbits, but interestingly enough, they're not the ones from Mario 64. And there's a white and pink one, and it looks like they deliberately took out the yellow one, which would have resembled the one from Mario 64. Even though the design is completely different, it seems like they did this on purpose that they didn't put a yellow one so that there's no reference to the Mario 64 one. So it makes me wonder, maybe they would still have a generic mouse there? Because I don't get why they would change the rabbit from one that we knew to a generic one. So I don't know if they would change the generic mouse to one from 3D World, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. But in terms of how the board plays, I actually hope they kind of tweak it. Someone in my stream last night mentioned about that they hope they tweaked it, and after I just played it, I hope they do too. Because the way the board works is that there's Monty Moles that can change an arrow, which makes it so that you can't go on the left or right path. And there's enough of these arrows to where the star can be very difficult to get to. And it's not that the star needs to be easy to get to all the time. I just feel like the layout of the board and where the arrows are located, I think sometimes it can be way too difficult to get to the star. And I think one minor tweak that they should do is make it a little bit more obvious as to when the moles are going to change the arrows on their own. Because what's ridiculous is you can pay to have the arrows swapped, but what's ridiculous is that you can also land on a question mark spot, which will then change the arrows, but the arrows also change on their own. So I think at the very least, there should be some sort of indication as to when the Monty Moles are going to change the arrows on their own. Because with all of those variables and not knowing when they're going to change them on their own, I think just makes it really ridiculous. There's probably some way to count it out that I just don't know. I mean, I played this game a long time ago and I just played the board now, but I didn't play it enough to know if there's any strat to know when they're going to change the arrows on their own. And I don't really see why there should be a reason to not have like a day counter at the top or a turn counter rather that shows when they're going to swap them on their own. But that's at the very least on what I think they should do, because I do think they should tweak it a little bit to where it's not that difficult to get to the stars. Because in the game that I played, when I first started, I wasn't really paying too much attention as to where I was going at the very start. But then it was like, okay, yeah, I should be going for the star. And it took until around halfway through the game before any of us got near the star. And I would like to emphasize, it's not that I totally hate the board and if they kept it the same, I'd never want to play on it. It's not like that. I just think that it could benefit from having a few tweaks because it gets to a point where it feels really random. And I know Mario Party, a lot of it is just randomness and getting screwed over and just it being chaotic. But when you need to rely on buying an item to get to the star, I feel like that's where maybe it should be tweaked a little bit. But other than that, I think the board's pretty cool. I like the way that the trees work. If you land on a question mark spot, there's a good tree that can either give you a coin fruit or a move forward fruit. And then there's a bad tree that can make you lose coins or go in reverse. So I think that's a pretty neat idea. But again, the arrows on this board, I think are just too abundant, or at least just the pathways involved to get to certain areas, I just think is a bit much with those arrows. So if they were to tweak that, I'd be very happy. 
And one thing that I almost forgot to mention that I'm actually really excited about this board coming back is the song that plays on this board, I think is really good. And I really can't wait to hear what they do with it for a new rendition. So all in all, I don't hate the board. I think it's fine that it's coming back. I'm not gonna say that I'm jumping up and down for it coming back, but I don't hate it. I'm not mad. I do think it could benefit from a few tweaks, but I'm definitely excited to see how the whole board looks with the HD upgrade and how the new rendition of the song sounds. So that's all I really have to say about this. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about all this. Are you excited for this board coming back? Are you not? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and want to support my content, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone.